When you think about water in the atmosphere, it's natural to associate it with temperatures above freezing. But water commonly exists in the air at temperatures well below freezing. This so-called supercooled water can become ice at the surface in a couple different ways. Now the one we're most familiar with lately is generally called glaze ice. It comes mainly as freezing rain, a smooth, clear, and nearly transparent icy coating that forms when drops of water fall on objects below freezing, such as trees or your car. If the freezing is slow enough, small icicles can form where the water tries to drip as it freezes. A thin coating of glaze ice on roads is called black ice. It's not really black, it's just that the underlying surface is often dark, say asphalt, and that shows through. A second way the atmosphere can deposit a frozen coating is rime ice, which is opaque and rough with a texture more like a crunchy snow. Rime ice forms from supercooled cloud or fog drops that are much smaller than rain or drizzle drops. They get air bubbles between them that give the opaque appearance. Rime ice often forms on trees atop mountains that stick up into the clouds. And it's common in extreme places such as Mount Washington in New Hampshire where huge chunks of rime ice often coat the buildings and weather equipment. Rime ice sometimes forms at lower elevations from fog at temperatures below freezing. Clear and rime ice can also form on airplanes that fly through supercooled clouds. To combat this, wing tips and other pointed leading edges of aircraft have anti-icing devices to either melt or crack off the ice. Finally, frost is a third way that the atmosphere can deposit ice on the surface. It's different in that frost forms when water vapor directly deposits onto an object without going through the liquid phase. You typically get this frosty layer of ice crystals on grass, trees, and other objects on clear, calm nights when air near the ground is moist and cools below freezing. Now, if you think you've had icing problems lately, take a look at what occasionally happens in very cold weather near Lake Geneva in Switzerland when strong winds drive spray from breaking waves onto the nearby shore. This kind of weather hazard is called freezing spray. It's more commonly a problem at sea and even has its own weather symbol, one you definitely won't see too often on weather world maps. Paul Knight is back with a look at the extended forecast next.